This is Eric Moab with Mother.com as the market comes close to the end of the session for February 10th, 2020. We can see that the NASDAQ is up the most, up about 1.09. 1 1 S&P 500 is next, up about 0.71. And the Dow is third out of the three major averages. Now, what I wanted to discuss here is actually an interesting take on the RSI. So again, back to the numbers here. NASDAQ gained the most for the day, then the S&P 500, and then the Dow. Now let me try and explain why the NASDAQ, then the S&P 500 gained the most. And in my opinion, it really goes back to where the RSIs are trading. And interestingly, what we see here is if you take the weekly, actually take the daily, then the weekly, even the monthly RSI for the major averages, the NASDAQ, SPX, and the Dow. You'll notice that the NASDAQ has the highest daily RSI value, the highest weekly RSI value, and then the highest monthly RSI value, followed by the S&P 500, which is second, and then the Dow. Now you'll notice, of course, the Dow is the one that gained the least. So what we see here is very simple. If you take a look at the NASDAQ, the RSI of the NASDAQ is at about 76. Right. That's the NASDAQ. Take a look at the S&P 500 next at 70.73, give or take. And then the Dow. These are weekly RSI values. We can see here the Dow is lagging at 65.48. Again, give or take. Now that's based on the weekly charts. Take a look at the monthly. Now the monthly, we can see here the Dow. The monthly RSI at 68, 67. Take a look at the S&P 500, a little bit higher at 71.75. And of course, we can surmise that the NASDAQ has the highest monthly RSI level right now at about 73.93. In fact, even on the dailies, this is the NASDAQ daily with the RSI reading at about, let's call it here, 68.67, followed by the S&P 500 which has an RSI reading of about 62.88. And of course, next, the Dow has the list, which is at about 58. So believe it or not, that value of where the RSIs are trading, especially on the big time frame, being the weekly and the monthly, is, in my opinion, the reason why we can see that the NASDAQ had the best gain of the day, then the S&P 500, and then the Dow. And the reason is, again, as we've seen, where the RSIs are trading on the big time frame will determine the magnitude of any move within that time frame. This is Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-C-S.